Hi, this is Sasha from When I Work. Today I'm going to show managers how to set up job sites on their Apple device and how to use them effectively. To create a job site, tap the More button and select Job Sites from the toolbox menu. Give your site a name. Input a full street address or GPS coordinates into the address field if you'd like your employees to be able to see where they need to be for their shift. This is also important if your company is using the attendance feature for your employees to clock in. If you have set up multiple locations or schedules, you can take a job site to all locations or a single location. When you take a site to a location, you will only be able to schedule shifts for that site at the selected location or schedule. Then, input any type of special note in the notes field that your employees should know about this job. When you're done, tap save. Once you set up your sites, you may take those to shifts. Tap the schedule. Then the plus icon to create a shift. And then select a job site from the menu. Tap save when finished creating the shift with the job site to schedule. Job sites are assigned to shifts. Job sites help indicate a specific place, area, or even a client that your employees will work. This can come in handy for any business that sends employees to specific areas, perhaps a venue or client residence. Do note that supervisors can only edit or delete job sites that are associated to locations they are taken to, and only the account holder and managers can edit all job sites across all the locations. Lastly, deleting a job site cannot be undone. Job sites can really help your employees understand where they're working and give managers better visibility into the job sites that are scheduled.